In this video, we will take a look at the Bulgarian squat with medicine ball chop exercise. To start this activity, the client should first place one foot flat on the box or step, and then take a large step forward to position the working leg out in front of the trunk. The length of this step to get into the Bulgarian squat position is dependent upon the client's body size and related anthropometrics, such as femur length. The forward thighs should be near parallel with the floor. The trainer should also recognize that there will be a notable stretch placed upon the iliopsoas of the trailing leg. When in the Bulgarian squat position, the trainer should make sure that the client's hips are square with the toes pointing directly forward and backward while the back is kept flat. The client's body weight should be directed through the heel of the forward leg and the top of the foot on the box or step. Of course, the majority of the load will be directed through the forward working leg. The client then situates the medicine ball in front of the extended hip as a starting position for the chopping action. The ball should be tight to the body, the shoulders should be relaxed, and the elbows should be fully extended. Finally, make sure to check for potential tibial translation during the starting position, which would indicate the lifter needs to take a bigger step out. The Bulgarian squat with medicine ball chop is then initiated by simultaneously extending the forward hip and knee, as well as the trailing knee, and performing a diagonal chopping action across the body. The concentric phase is finalized when the forward hip and knee are nearly fully extended and the medicine ball reaches a position above the head lateral to the opposite side of the body. Common errors here can include hyperextension of the back or inadequate rotation during the chopping action, elbow flexion and or inadequate total range of motion during the chopping action, or medial lateral sway at the hips due to lumbo-pelvic instability as well as poor coordination and balance. To regain the starting position via the eccentric phase, the lifter simply flexes the hips and knees under control to a position where the forward thigh is nearly parallel with the floor while simultaneously performing a reverse chopping action. Once the client has regained stability at the bottom position, the next repetition may be engaged.